As we begin our training, I want you to imagine that you're sitting behind the steering wheel of the vehicle that you drive. And right in front of you, you have an instrument panel. And on this panel, there are a lot of lights and gauges and bells and whistles, all designed to help you drive the vehicle safely and effectively. Well, in Lagos, we too have an instrument panel. It's called the toolbar. And on this toolbar, there are a lot of buttons and options, all designed to get us quickly into Bible study. So in this introduction, tutorial, I want us to survey the screen focusing particularly on this toolbar so that you'll have a lay of the land as we move through the videos and so you'll know what I'm referencing. So take a look at my screen and the toolbar that I'm referring to is in the left hand column. So we're going to quickly move through these options. Right at the top you're going to see a box. We call this the go box or the command box. Some people even call it the omni box and you can initiate Bible study right from this box. You can type a word here, a subject here, a passage and click that arrow and you will move right into Bible study. Coming on down you will see the home icon and that will open or close the home screen that you currently see on my desktop and then in another tutorial we're going to move in and customize this home screen. Coming on down you'll see the library icon. The library is your electronic bookshelf. It's going to house all of the resources in your library. You can go here to see what you own as well as open those books. And then you're going to see the search icon which will open your search panel. You'll be able to search your Bibles, all of your books at once, specific collection of resources, whatever you want. You'll be able to locate words, phrases, Bible references. Really the sky is the limit here with searching. The Bible icon is going to open up your favorite or your preferred Bible and I'm going to show you how to quickly set your favorite Bible in another tutorial. Then we have the fact book. The fact book is going to quickly become your best friend in Logos. You can always go to the fact book to initiate pretty much any type of study you want. Again for a passage, a word, a subject, a preaching theme, a counseling theme, you are going to love the fact book as I show you what it's all about. Then we have the documents menu. The documents menu is where you go to create your own personal documents like reading plans, prayer lists, passage lists, and the like. Then we have a menu called guides and workflows. Think of a guide as your personal research assistant that's going to come alongside of you and give you a lot of information about scripture passages, words, or subjects. And think of a workflow as your own personal tour guide that's really going to hold your hand and say, hey, you want to study this passage? Do this first, do this second, do this third. We will cover guides and workflows in other videos. Then we have the tools icon. The tools icon will open up a menu that is housing a lot of miscellaneous tools, again designed to help you study and research scripture. Right underneath the tools menu you have a blank area. This is your personal shortcuts area. This is your personal toolbar and you'll be able to put your own icons there for quick access to your favorite features. And then coming on down we have a layouts menu. Think of a layout as your own personal study space. Maybe you have some Bibles and commentaries open on the screen and you say, hey, I'm not finished with my work, I want to return here. That's a layout. I'll show you how to save and reopen a layout. And then you will see a close all button. Currently it's grayed out on my screen because we really don't have anything open. But imagine you have a lot of things open on the screen and you want to quickly close them all. That's what that close all button is all about. And then in the lower left of my screen, you're going to see three dots. This is called the help or the app menu. And this is where you can go to get some additional instruction related to the software as well as some account information. And then you're going to see a profile menu. Again, you can go here to customize some of your account information. Then you will see a shopping cart icon that will take you to the Logos store. And then to the right of the shopping cart, you're going to see a double arrow icon. This is the synchronize button and you can click it anytime you want to synchronize your work. It will back up all of your work and your settings to the Logos servers to keep all of your computers and your mobile devices in sync. 
And then I want you to notice the little arrow there. Let's say that this toolbar is taking up too much room for you and you want to collapse it. So go ahead and click that arrow icon and notice the toolbar on the left hand side shrinks. All of the tool tips, so to speak, disappear and you are left with just the icons. So if you want to expand or collapse the left toolbar, you can use that arrow. So I'll click the little arrow again and you will notice that it expands once again. Now you may look at this left toolbar and say, well, you know, I'm not accustomed to having my icons on the left side of the screen. I'm more a traditionalist. I like my icons and buttons going across the top of the screen. Well, don't panic. Logos gives us the option. If you want your icons across the top, here's all you have to do. I want you to click on the help or the app menu in the lower left corner. That's the three dots and then select program settings program settings and notice close to the top of program settings there's a line item called application toolbar location currently it's set to left I'm gonna click on it and change it to top and notice that all of the icons are now in their traditional position right across the top of the screen now I'm going to leave my toolbar right at the top because I'm more accustomed to it and old habits are hard to break but you have the choice the left or the top totally up to you so that is a brief lay of the land focusing specifically on this toolbar and we're going to be coming back to these icons in due course